Okay, now that you know what we're going to be working with, let's start at the beginning. I can't count the number of times that people have come into my gallery and said, I can't draw. Well, let me tell you, anyone can learn to draw, and I'm going to show you how. I do a drawing method that is kind of combination between uh, the formula created called Drawing on the Right Side of the Brain, a book you can buy at just about any bookstore, and my own method, which I call Shape Memory Method of Drawing. To demonstrate that, I'm going to start with my reference photo. This is my reference. This is the same poppy that we're going to paint, and I'm going to use this to create my drawing. So the very first thing I'm going to do is use my pencil on my printed reference and actually begin to trace around the outside edge of this flower. I'm just letting my hand and pencil follow the outside edge. In so doing, I am creating a shape memory. When I go to draw this on my paper, I will already have a really good idea about where I'm going with it. This also will help me to define where these petals go because sometimes in a reference photo you can't always see where the edges of the petals actually are. Makes it harder to, to know where you're going when you're, when you're painting, when you get your brush on that paper. So now that I've come all the way around the outside of this poppy, I'm going to come around the inside edges of some of these major petals so that there's no doubt in my mind where they go. This is going to help me see them as well as defining them in my mind for creating this shape memory. Follow along with me now and start tracing around the outside edges of your very own reference photo that you have downloaded as part of this video from my website at www.angelfireartspace.com. Just a couple of more inside edges here to identify these petals as they move around this poppy. Finally, I'm just going to make a circle around the edge of where my center is so I know where my center is. Now see, in just these few minutes, I've completely gone all the way through this poppy, all the way around this reference with my pencil. I have not done all these little subtle ridges in here. That's not necessary. We'll do that with our brush later on. For now, I want you to concentrate on these outside edges. If you have to trace around this reference three times, four times, five times, you do that. Do that until you have identified all of these edges and you know where the lines on your poppy are going to go. Ready? Now let's get this drawn on paper. Now I'm moving my, my reference photo to my left where I can easily see it. I'm going to keep my eyes on this reference photo while I'm drawing it on my paper. I'm going to choose first a place right here where I can see there's a definite starting point. Starting point right there. I'm going to put my pencil on my paper and I'm going to make this poppy big and fill this sheet of paper. And ready? Here we go. We're now letting our pencil follow the lines that we already created by tracing around and creating a shape memory. Notice that I spend most of my time looking at my reference, not at my drawing. I look at my drawing, looking back to it, only to keep judge of where I am in my progress. I keep my eyes over here following my finger around the lines that I have created to create my shape memory. And you can see we're now almost halfway done with this poppy. Coming back up this side here, there's that little loop-de-doo right 
there and up we go over and now we're coming down into the poppy right on this fold and back across and up and there we have our outside edges done on this poppy now let's concentrate on the inside edges I'm looking over here letting my fingers and eyes follow the lines coming up and down around up and down up and down I'm not drawing a poppy I'm drawing a shape and this comes just like that and this comes over here just like that and then we have a little there and now let's get our center in where we think it goes I think it's about here and boom we have drawn a poppy how simple was that and you thought you didn't know how to draw ready to paint I am